Good morning. Start another week for us here at Airdale. We've had a long weekend actually, like I say, lads got that big job finished on last week's video, Palisade, so we decided to have the uh, Tuesday off, so it's actually Wednesday now, so a short week for us. We've got a little mesh job to do at a domestic property today. We did next doors actually about two years ago. Um, it looks well, some two meter IV mesh. They live next door to a golf course and some woods in Old Woodley. But yeah, we're just getting sorted out now. You know, it's like once we've had a couple of days off, we're going to take two vans. That one's got all tools off. Got a free gift on Timo. It's addictive, that thing, isn't it? And uh, it was uh, like a little jet wash spray thing. We've just been practicing it on vans. And it's more for cleaning fencing down once it's done. I'll tell you what, it's cracking. I got it for no. <laughs> so, can't argue with that, can you? I don't know how they make money on that site, I suppose it's a numbers game, but yeah, we're just going to get loaded up here, it's only 20 summit metres, single gate that we already had in stock, so I love it when we've already got them in stock. Alright, we're over in Leeds today, we're just taking this out, putting some uh, V-mesh up, 2 meter high. We actually did the neighbours next door not so long ago, I think it was just last year. Basically, this is all woodland area and uh, they've gone for the green mesh fencing. So it's going to come out a panel, you're going to have a gate in. It's going to come out all the way down. Just this bit here is going to have two posts and then just a little overhang. We're going to have enough room for a man to go down there and it's going to come in. If you can actually just see on the other side, there's that fence in there. Here's what we did to the neighbour. So we'll get this done today. It won't take as long. I reckon what? We'll be done at one o'clock. Sun's coming out as well, so it looks like a nice, beautiful day. Let's get cracking. So, cracked on, already got gate in. Jamie's just gone to go get some mix for us. So it gates there. It's raised up because all this, all this here, they're actually filling in. So they've asked it to be level all the way along the top. And since the ground goes up and down, we've just took the measurement from the highest side and worked it out. So these two have a little gap in it, but he'll fill that in, not a problem. Now he's just putting post in. Yeah, cap on it, baggy. Get a cap on that. I'm gonna give it a nice clean down, a little respray as well while we're here. Absolute booming day today, beautiful. So this here is, is actually becoming a favourite fence in this. This is two, two meter high green V-mesh and when you have woodlands or nature reserves around or at the back of your house, instead of getting a timber fence, what needs maintaining every 15 years and that's that's on a good on a good fence, um, you get this stuff and uh, you know this will outlive a lot of people. That compared to replacing a whole wooden fence, you know, it makes more sense. <laughs> getting back in my car actually I've just been at school you can probably see behind me there uh, Green Hill yeah Green Hill Primary it's actually on Bramley uh, Gamble Hill but my grandma used to live around here she used to live on the side of this hill over here so I know this area quite well actually I've come around here a lot as a kid see my grandma with my mum and dad so yeah it's weird how you come back to your childhood stuff but I've actually quoted this school behind me a couple of times but they've got a We've got a new site manager now, a new business manager apparently, so there's a few things wrong with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's been up a few years, dude. Original fencing and I think there's a lot of loose panels and bits and bats, but they want some new fencing and a couple of gates sorting out, so I shall get that quoted for them and uh, no doubt we'll probably get that one. Oof, a load of work's just come in, it goes like that sometimes, a bit up and down, you just got to try and stay steady with it but wow we've just got another massive job in so we're pretty much booked up now till I think it's so we've got a couple of weeks in June to fill but then we're getting into school holidays and stuff like that so we've just got a big job in which is about a three week job I believe way around a big factory in Cleckheaton um, they just give me that order today 
Yeah, and then we're into school holidays. I've already got, I think, first two weeks booked up. I actually go on an holiday then as well on a cruise, so busy period. And I come back, and I think Baggy's away first, then me, and then I think Justin's away. No doubt Jamie will be away, he's always on holiday. Him. There's more holidays than Judith Jammers. And welcome once again to Wish You Were Here. Um, so, yeah, we're busy, and then Matt's just uh, messaged me to say, just an heads up, <laughs> let's hope none of them, because we've just quoted a few others as well, schools that want a load of automation, access control. Just a heads up, um, you better not book any more, and he's booked up till end of August. Uh, he's literally Batley, Batley Grammar and their school trust. Um, which we're going to be doing in school holidays with him, some gates, some railings and that, and automations, but he's actually renewing all the uh, internal Paxton system and all the doors, fire doors, because he does all that as well. So yeah, he's a busy boy. In fact, whilst I'm on here, he really, really desperately to recruit somebody to give him hand, experience, or, you know, nose access control, gate automation, if you know anybody, Please let me know in the comments. I don't just want anybody that's picked a screwdriver. We need somebody that knows what they're doing. We do a lot in schools and stuff. It's got to be right. So yeah, if you know anyone or anyone's sort of local to us, please Bradford, let us know in the comments and we'll, we'll contact you. So yeah, that's, I think that's me for today. I've uh, I've spoken to lads. I should be back soon actually. Go home now. <laughs> In fact, speaking of home, I've actually got the neighbours fence to do. It's been down a while. He come round last night and said, "Do you want to have a look now, Mark? Uh, we're going to get it done." He said, oh, "I don't know if you know, it's actually down the other side as well. So both sides of his garden to do. Um, anyways, give me a job. Um, and then his next availability, he said, "Oh, I'm actually on holiday that week. Can you do it week after? Which you can't. So we're doing this big job." So anyway, I'll sort that out with him, that's why I'm going to go see him. Um, so yeah, I'm ranting now, I'll leave it at that. Uh, tomorrow, I think the lads are just doing a little job and me and Justin are going to come and just sort this yard out for while well, it's empty and nobody's about because uh, if you don't keep on top of it, it all just gets on top of you and then you can't move. But the problem is we've got some massive porcing yard there, which is for a job that we're doing Monday, so... We'll have to see what we can do, and I shall leave it there. So this is Peel Park Primary School. We're just doing a little uh, job for them today so to stop kids from climbing up here. It's going to be four posts, three panels, and it's just going to be going to the end here. Um, she's happy for it to be bolted on the wall, so it'll probably take us about an hour and then on to the next job. So we'll do this, and uh, I'll go and meet lads out front now. I told you we won't be here that long. Lads have just finished up now. Just uh, checking the work out. Oh, looks all right. That's just to stop them from being able to climb up on that wall and it's all boxed in now. Yeah, on to the next job. We've got a timber job up in uh, Queensbury to do. So, just doing a domestic job up in Queensbury. Nice, beautiful day for it. So this section's coming out. It's going to get replaced for 1.5 high, single-sided paling. It'll be going down there. It's going to slightly run downhill and that'll be nice and straight. It'll be beautiful. Look like a new garden once we're done. Oh, well, it's coming together it is. It's doing hot bits and bats now, railing. Go down that side, look nice once all the pails are on. Right, we're just done up in Queensbury. This is a 1.5 high uh, paling fencing with capping on top. Uh, it's two inch gap, and it's just going around the front of the garden. They've done, done well to get it in. There were some pipes down there, but they were that deep, we were nowhere close to it, so that's perfect. Look at that, looking very nice. So we're just getting it all signed off now, getting it finished. Looking very nice indeed. Come on, let's show your arms, Justin. Look, hey, let's see these. Look, come here. Come here. <laughs> Look at these. That's what you get when you don't get, wear sunscreen. Get a load of them, Josh. He likes making cartoon figures out of them. Some people never learn, and such as me. I'm the king of fools, as you can see. Goodbye to happiness and all that might have been. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. No sun cream on. 
that was yesterday by the way bagging Jamie actually off today uh, Jamie's doing his fence at home I think so but yeah I'm just checking if I've got some posts that lad next door he's after a couple that I've literally got every size palisade posts except for 1.8 I've got a load in black I've got a couple in green but I've no galvanised what he wants typical that innit what you can see I've got loads of everything but uh, <laughs> it's not so 1.8 palisade posts you know but anyway Carl's just gonna uh, serve, serve its digger a bit for his ant fork truck mm -hmm. next week, but um, he's gonna do digger now and give it a grease and that's that. I haven't been started for weeks. We, we hardly ever use it, but when when we do need it, it comes in handy. Obviously, on them big posts, they'll be going in like a metre deep it's for both ends of a football pitch behind goals. I was catching up on some admin, got another big job in yesterday. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, I might have done actually. It's probably going to be three to four weeks work, some gates and everything for Carl to make. Yeah, yeah we're pretty much booked up now till August with a couple of weeks in June to fill. But no doubt they'll get taken soon with jobs of seen the last few weeks and I've got a few to see next week which sound. I've also been sent a few tenders this week which I don't tender for work a lot if I'm honest these days. It's just pain in the neck. And they're probably going to want doing it school holidays as well, so I would probably I might not even bother with them because it's just hard work, you know. But I've got other school works on, so yeah. And I just want to wish my wife a happy birthday, by the way. It's her birthday tomorrow, Saturday. I'm going into Leeds. Um, she's going for a one of them all you can eat and drink brunch things with girls, and us lads are going round dives in Leeds uh, for a few hours. So no doubt we'll all be a bit merry by the time we meet back up with each other. Have a few round leads and then come back local. Even Ginger Prince is coming with us tomorrow, look. Is that, is that, is that the ears lowered and everything ready for tomorrow, look. <laughs> so yeah, we're just uh, having a bit of a chill day, a bit of a hard day. Just like I say, getting on top of stuff. Justin's washed both, beat that thing, washed both vans, emptied them. Which they need, don't they, Justin? Look a bit better, them. A bit of a wash, just try and keep up with them a bit, you know. Check. I know, since we're always flipping. <coughs> we're always that busy, but yeah. They're just having a bit of a service day in the yard. He's going to probably do that Monday, actually. I might even spray it yet. It's just, obviously, it gets kept outside. A little bit so rusty here, but not to worry about, really. For 10 minutes we use it a day, it's, it lasts forever that, there's hardly any hours on it. So yeah, I think I will call it and leave it there. If you haven't already, get subscribed, give us a like and why not leave us a comment down below and we'll see you next week. <laughs>